Serena Williams won her 23rd Grand Slam at the Australian Open in 2017, and the record of 24 Grand Slam titles held by Margaret Court was in reach for her. The road was clear, and everyone thought Serena was going to get it, yet she failed. What went wrong for the American tennis star? Was it a curse, or was it something else? In this video, we will answer the million dollar question. Was Serena cursed not to win 24 Grand Slams? I'm just Serena, you know, so. <laughs> Serena Williams, the iconic tennis player from the United States, embodies a legacy of excellence, unwavering determination, and unmatched proficiency. Throughout her remarkable journey, she has captivated millions globally through her unparalleled abilities, commanding presence on the tennis court, and relentless drive to shatter boundaries within the sport. Serena's career is adorned with an incredible achievement of 23 Grand Slam singles titles, solidifying her as the most accomplished female tennis player in the open era and placing her a mere step away from surpassing Margaret Court's record. With her commanding serves and thundering ground strokes, Serena has established herself as a great tennis player on various playing surfaces, from the hallowed grass of Wimbledon to the unforgiving hard courts of the US Open. But the thing often highlighted by traditional commentators, pundits, and her fans is her record of 24 Grand Slam titles. Despite having multiple chances, why did Serena fail to win her 24th Grand Slam? After winning the AO in 2017, everyone thought that Serena was going to get it done at 2018 Wimbledon. She stepped in with nothing but the record of 24 Grand Slam titles on her mind, marching her way through early rounds with significant ease. Defeating players like Arenksa Rus, Victoria Tomova, Kristina Mladenovic, and Evgenia Rodinia. In the corner final, Serena faced a tough opponent, Camilia Giorgi. In the first set, Giorgi started strongly, displaying her aggressive style of play and powerful ground strokes. She managed to break Serena's serve and took the set 6-3, putting Serena on her back foot. But Serena, known for her mental toughness, fought back and managed to win the next two sets 6-3, 6-4. In the semis, Serena faced Yulia Gerges, but it turned out to be an easy win for Serena. Fans were going crazy over this win because now, Serena was one step closer to the record of 24 Grand Slams. In the final, Serena faced Angelique Kerber. The match was highly anticipated as it pitted two former Wimbledon champions against each other. Despite a valiant effort from Williams, Kerber proved to be a formidable opponent, displaying incredible defensive skills and consistent play. Kerber won the match in straight sets with a score of 6-3, 6-3, denying Williams her eighth Wimbledon singles title, and ultimately Serena had to wait for her chance to get the 24th slam. For fans, it seemed like it was just going to be a matter of time because the US Open was just around the corner. Serena started the tournament with nothing but the record on her mind and wasted no time in getting those victories in the early rounds. Serena Williams faced Karolina Pliskova in the quarterfinals. The match was intense, but Serena, with her powerful ground strokes, managed to get the upper hand and the match 6-4, 6-3. In the semifinals, Serena dominated Anastasia Sevestova, winning in straight sets with a score of 6-3, 6-0. This victory propelled her to the final where she faced Naomi Osaka. The final match gained notoriety for its controversy and drama. Osaka won the first set and, in the second set, a heated dispute between Serena and chair umpire Carlos Ramos unfolded, resulting in code violations and penalties for Serena. This is not fair, but to give me a the situation escalated as Serena argued with the umpire, leading to a game penalty. Ultimately, Osaka emerged as the victor, winning the match 6-2, 6-4, and becoming the first Japanese player to win a Grand Slam singles title. The record, yet again, slipped out of Serena's grasp. But this wasn't her last opportunity. She had two more chances in 2019, the Wimbledon and the US Open again. At Wimbledon, Serena displayed her prowess in the early rounds, defeating Julia Gatto Mataconi, Kaya Yuvan, and Julia Gorgas. In the quarterfinals, she faced Allison Risk in a hard-fought match that went the distance. Despite losing the second set, Serena regained her composure and emerged victorious in the deciding set, advancing to the semifinals. In the semis, Serena came up against a tough opponent in Barbara Strykova, but managed to get the better of her, winning the match in two sets and progressing to the final. In the final, it was the Romanian superstar Simona Halep against Serena. 
It was a below average display from Serena, who looked overwhelmed by the mental and social pressure of reaching the ultimate goal of winning 24 Grand Slams. She lost the match in two sets, 6-2, 6-2. Turning to the US Open, Serena showcased her dominance in the early rounds, securing convincing wins over Maria Sharapova and Katie McNally. In the quarterfinals, she faced Wang Chiang and demonstrated her powerful game, dispatching her opponent in straight sets. In the semis, Serena came up against Elena Svitolina, managing to win in straight sets. And in the final, Serena came up against a formidable opponent, Bianca Andrescu. Serena struggled to maintain her level and made many unforced errors, eventually losing the match 6-3, 7-5. Didn't play my best today, you know, and I, I, I could have played better. And now the million dollar question is, did the mental pressure of winning that historic 24th slam disturb her focus? Or was it all about the inconsistency and frequent injuries? When examining Serena Williams' most recent 10 attempts to equal Margaret Court's longstanding record, two key observations come to light. Firstly, a notable fact was the emergence of highly talented players in recent years, particularly Sofia Kennan, Bianca Andreescu, and most notably Naomi Osaka at that time. Significantly, Williams experienced defeats at the hands of Osaka, a 20-year-old, in the final of the US Open in 2018, and Andrescu, a 19-year-old, at Flushing Meadows the following year. These losses signify the arrival of a new generation of formidable players in the tennis scene. Additionally, as she has been growing older, she's not been the dominant force that she used to be with injuries taking a toll on her performance. The accumulation of injuries adds to the challenges she faces in maintaining her previous level of play. Mental pressure played a crucial role in Serena's challenges. The weight of expectations, both internal and external, was immense. Serena was, and still is, widely regarded as one of the greatest tennis players of all time. And with each Grand Slam tournament she entered, there was an underlying anticipation that she would achieve the record-equaling 24th title. The pressure to succeed and surpass Margaret Court's record added an extra layer of psychological burden as the achievement held historic significance. The media scrutiny surrounding Serena's journey also contributed to the mental pressure she faced. Journalists and commentators closely followed her every move, dissecting her performances, analyzed her mindset, and speculated about her ability to reach the milestone. This constant attention was mentally draining, affecting her focus, confidence, and peace of mind. The media's narrative and constant comparisons to past achievements intensified the pressure and created an atmosphere of heightened expectations. Furthermore, Serena's drive for perfection and her desire to succeed also amplified the mental pressure. She set high standards for herself and had a strong competitive spirit. While this drive was a driving force behind her success, it also became a source of stress and self-imposed pressure. The desire to achieve greatness led to self-doubt and increased expectations, which hindered her performance and increased mental strain. On the social front, Serena faced unique challenges as a woman of color in a predominantly white sport. Throughout her career, she was subjected to unfair treatment, discrimination, and microaggressions. These external social pressures had a profound impact on her mental well-being and ability to focus on her game. Overcoming these additional challenges required resilience and strength, but they undoubtedly contributed to the hurdles Serena faced in her pursuit of the 24th Grand Slam. When asked about not winning that 24th Grand Slam, this is what Serena said. I had so many opportunities. It was just, I made too many mistakes there and easy mistakes. I never dreamt of having this many Grand Slams or titles. I just thought I would play tennis and maybe win a Grand Slam or two. For me, it's all a bonus. Serena's journey to win that 24th Slam and equal Margaret Court's record was a tough one. But who knows, the future might just reveal some important information about what went wrong.